Hey guys, Frankomatic and Sess back once again. Hi there. And I'm showing that I am in fact equipping the Gutsy Glove on uh, Akira. Also, give me a unicorn horn back, you jerk. Now, what were we gonna do? Ah, I remember. I'm gonna go find a new friend because we don't like Akira that much. It's harsh, man. I went the wrong way. <laughs> you just wanted to get into this fight with... Tanks. And Mecha Sasuke. Yes. It's not Sasuke, it's something else, but... Let's just go with double shot, since that'll be a bit more reliable on these... Oh yeah, these guys! A bit more reliable on the on bullet resistant enemies. Oh thank you. <laughs> Luckily we have cube. Indeed we do. Okay, for some reason that guy ran away. Okay. Oh dear. Why do they hate Sundown so much? Stop, stop, pass. <laughs> hey! Hi. Levels. And some power parts! Nice. And a bounce gun, I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> you should try to equip it on somebody. Let's see if we can find a in our awful, awful inventory. It's an attack item. Boo. Once we gotta level up, let's, uh... Save. Because why the hell not? Also power parts. Yeah, I guess I should feed those to cube, shouldn't I? Yeah. Eat them, cube. Become more unkillable. Yeah, this is where I want to be. In a fight. With... Hmm. Demon cats. They do look kind of terrifying. Hmm. <laughs> it's just like when Tommy tries to sing. <laughs> Wait, what is this? <laughs> what the hell? Let's give it a go. What? <laughs> Dang. Well, that was effective. <laughs> Yoink. It's everybody's favorite character. Some loser. He gets transported through time and space, and his first instinct is to uh, put himself in jail. Have a nice little workout. In jail. In jail. Never change, Masaru. <laughs> okay, we get it. <laughs> Incidentally, you get that little scene if you start as Masaru, too. They don't want you to miss the crazy animations. Who is it? Just some cowboy. And a robot, and a girl. You know, it's actually reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> Only the guns on my biceps. <laughs> yeah, sure. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> he does not seem at all upset about this. 
Anyways. Masaru is level two. Lame. <laughs> Well, he's actually basically pretty much a tank, so let's just give him tanky shit. Eh, whatever. <laughs> what we equip him with doesn't really matter, he's not going to be sticking around that long. Because <laughs> I'm not really a fan of Masaru. Having in the party is going to lower our average by quite a bit, so we'll see some different enemies. But he'll level up quickly because, you know... Level 2? Yeah. Now, I know his dungeon is out here somewhere, but I don't remember exactly where. It'll be easy to spot there. It'll be easy to spot, though. Shoot it in the face. That That's not the face. face. <laughs> oh no, the Baron of Kung Fu. <laughs> <laughs> that was unexpected. <laughs> I'm pretty certain it's out here, always. It's that tree. No, it's not the tree. Oh. <sighs> I was hoping we would stop seeing these, but no. He's so dead. Actually, if Masaru has one thing going for him, it's the fact that he uh, has a shitload of hit points. <laughs> Crazy guy is the centerpiece. Like you said it wasn't the tree. I think it might be up here actually. It's not the tree. Or it's just another way through. This is another way through the woods. Chrono Legion. Time cops are on to us. <laughs> and oh wait, it's just uh, Forest Doom. He was lower level. My mistake. <laughs> Why are there three of him? Time shenanigans. <laughs> Keeping it real, Masaru. I honestly don't remember where his uh, dungeon is. This is annoying. Hooray, we need to run around randomly. I suppose I can look it up. Cheater. Hey! I'm not gonna just sit here and do nothing while I fail to find what I'm looking for. Think you can handle those guys? No. <laughs> I will get you killed. I swear to god, you better not. <laughs> I haven't saved in a while. See how this pans out. There it is. Okay, I was on the right track before. Hey, I did it. <laughs> hey, thank you. 
hear you were saying you were terrible at video games. I am terrible at video games. Okay. It's by the mountain, but not up in the mountain. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> I really hate the encounter rate in this episode. <laughs> Which makes Masara's gimmick a little more annoying, because his entire gimmick is has a retarded encounter rate. Oh boy. You know, when I used him, he actually hit something. <laughs> <laughs> My luck. Can you hit him from here? I don't think you can. No. Oh no, he's calling her a cow. Well, we'll show him what we think of that. Squirrel Rage. More levels. Shot Storm is pretty okay. Probably won't use it much, though. One of the few area attacks we get for uh, Sundown. There it is. See that thing? The crazy looking fish? Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's a plus. <laughs> I'm getting strong enough to just flat out murder this crap without dealing with it. <laughs> you get the pass. But he just gained a level. Maybe he'll hit with that attack that keeps failing. <laughs> yes, the crazy fish thing. I'm gonna save one more time here. He's actually the guardian of Masara's dungeon. He only shows up if you have Masara with you. And he's awesome. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a phoenix riding a giant flying eel? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, here's Shot Storm just for fun. That That's probably looked a lot like Quad Shot. Yeah, but if there's more than one enemy around, it'll target randomly everything in the area. Oh, good. <sighs> Okay, now we knock down his stats a bit. Now let's just use quad shot. <laughs> well, that was easy. Yeah, if you have a decently leveled party, he's not too tough. <laughs> Eh, yeah, strong enough. And with that, the dungeon is open. It is also very short. It's also kind of weird looking. Treasure! But we can't take it yet. That is the other half of the gimmick. There's tons of treasure. And no random encounters now. Until we get all the way up to the top here, which is one more screen up, <laughs> and take this. Super bandage. Now there will be random encounters in here, and we can open up all those treasures. 
And I'm actually going to open some of these treasures. Also, look at that attack raise. Dang. <laughs> You pretty much have to do this dungeon if you want to use Masaru to make him at all viable. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the only weapon he can equip that exists. <laughs> hmm. But now that we've picked that up, there's going to be lots of encounters. And there is one specific thing I want to get out of here. Oh, fuck me. Well, I just say it, so let's give it a shot. <laughs> we powered up a bit, maybe we can kill him now. Or. Yeah, or we can just run away. <laughs> <laughs> Not that. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so it's a... It's a chimera Lion except crazy. Snake. Combination. Baboon and something else? I missed something else. Sloth, maybe? I thought it was some kind of bird. I didn't see it. Let's get right into the red ass. <laughs> That's what happens when you're a part baboon. Yeah, the encounter rate in here is awful. Oh, oh no! Fight. All the little puppies. You know, I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> right, can't shoot through, guys. Yeah, the best part is these guys can basically not do any damage to you, also. Oh, poor puppies. Just pretend they ran away. <laughs> but you killed one. Okay, that one didn't run away. <laughs> The other ones, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna try this each time this comes up. <laughs> Maybe you'll get lucky. Nope. One of these times. Oh, hey. Maybe you'll get lucky. But probably not. <laughs> Really has it in for sundown. Oh no. <laughs> Gotta keep going for it. Poor choice. <laughs> Coward. That's what we wanted. Now we can get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Not gonna get the rest of the treasures? Most of it's more crap I'll never use. <laughs> the Golden Top Knot, however, has one very specific usage, so... Is it as a Top Knot? Well, I guess, but <laughs> now we're gonna be using it for. So, mammoths. Yep. Mammoths are pretty tough. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't really got anything else to say. <laughs> I 
Oh, and I do that, I guess. That attack will never work. <laughs> never change, Masaru. Yep, this is, uh, this is going on. Hey, a giant meaty bone. Hooray. Haven't seen one of those in a while. <laughs> Hi, Ishtar! <laughs> I will win one of these fights. Someday. Not this one. Come on, paralyze him. Nope. No good. Oh, now he can't move. <laughs> Not that he really needs to. And yeah, time to cut and run. <laughs> this is why I'm not stopping to pick up all the treasure chests. <laughs> well, let's get into a million more of these really <laughs> annoying fights. It's not worth it. <laughs> Oh well, every time I end up having to run from Ishtar is one less time I'll have to run later on to fight Death Prophet, so... Hooray. We can look at it as a positive in that light, I guess. Oh, so he'll paralyze the mammoth. <laughs> Girl's gotta be picky. The thing we don't really need paralyzed. <laughs> This is one of my least favorite dungeons, and also, wow, that hurt him a lot. <laughs> Why did that mammoth just turn around randomly? <laughs> so we could shoot it in the ass? Mammoths like that. I don't think that that is true. Puppies! <laughs> of course they're extinct, so... Impossible to tell. The other feature of this fight is that guy is obnoxiously difficult to hit. <laughs> you should have used your fire to burn everything. All of the puppies. Just make noise at all the puppies. Bye, puppies. <laughs> See, now I can pretend that they ran away because I did not like the noise.
course, I just told you to burn them all, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think you got any... I don't think you got a leg to stand on here, man. Kill him. <laughs> a moon rabbit foot? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Accessory? Probably. Oh, that's done. So with that, I'm going to break the video here, and we will continue on by picking up another new friend. One moment.